Eckhart Tolle once wrote that it is not uncommon for people to spend their whole life waiting to start living. Well then how do we really start living? If slowing down and enjoying life is so simple to do, why is it so hard for many of us to actually do it? Over the past year, many of us have had time to reflect upon our lives and our values. We've learned that more doesn't mean better, that hustling and striving is overrated and depleting of our natural energies. But I think what we really took away from this time is how important it is that we slow down and enjoy the small, simple things that we have right at home. Living simply and slowly just feels lighter. When we remove the excess that no longer serves us, we're free. I wanted to share with you some simple and easy ways that I have learned to slow my life down and how I feel lighter in my everyday because of it. There are simple things I do, like taking pleasure in the details, such as dressing up playfully every day, applying perfume and my favorite pink lipstick, picking up fresh flowers and decorating my home with them, sniffing my wrist to smell the perfume that I applied in the morning, arranging a photo album with my favorite memories, keeping a poetry journal for late night wordy daydreams before I drift off to sleep. Little things like let the sun hit your face, walk barefoot in the soil. But aside from the simple, easy to do things, here's some other tips for slowing down so that you can feel lighter in your life. Let go of judgment. This is one of the most transformative practices that I've incorporated in my life and it certainly makes me feel lighter. It's simple, but hard to do. Don't be judgmental, both of yourself and others, and especially those who judge you. Celebrate people for living out their honest truth, their own values and their own beliefs. Live and let live. Let others be exactly where they are and celebrate them for being true to their own hearts. Give yourself time and space. Adults live in the mind, but children always live in the heart. Bring back wonder, play, and fun to your everyday. Innocence and imagination. Make believe and leaps of faith. A child needs time and space to grow and evolve, to be on their own in a sandbox making sandcastles. Give your inner child space to evolve. And don't put pressure on yourself to be a certain way by a certain time. <laughs> know that you are already right on time and always exactly where you need to be. Say no more often and prioritize your time. Know what you value in other people and in your relationships. Say no to plans with people who don't light you up and make you excited about life. If a friend doesn't help me grow or feel more joyous about life after leaving them, the time was wasted. You can start the difficult conversations with a compassionate, I'm just gonna be honest. Once I started being more direct and honest with people, I found integrity with myself and feel a whole lot lighter because of it. I also started saying no to certain guilty pleasures like celebrity gossip, watching the news, watching celebrity home tours on Architectural Digest, <laughs> things like that. I also live slowly by practicing meditation while in activities like stirring a boiling pot of pasta or a cup of hot cocoa, cultivating a moment of awareness no matter what kind of chaotic or busy activity I'm involved in. 
Meditating while being active, I find, is infinitely more powerful than meditating in quiet stillness. Find pockets of space in the busy moments to bring back that awareness to your breath, and life will feel easier. One of the reasons why I feel so much lightness in my life is that I am so quick and open to laughter. I think people are funny. I think life is funny. I think life is ridiculous and silly and it's all just a playful game. And I think when you approach life in this very humorous, funny way, life just feels a lot lighter. And this actually leads me to my next point, which is being open and curious about life. That openness to life and people and relationships and communication and ideas and all of it, that openness and curiosity about life is what keeps you forever young. It's what keeps you childlike and, and lighthearted is being open and curious to try new things, to try new foods, try new languages, speak with people that you might never talk to, you know, go on wild adventures, go out at midnight and say your wishes out loud to the stars, pitch a tent and bring a mug of hot cocoa and wish to the moon, you know, talk to the birds, sing to the birds, sing to the trees, you know, that openness to life, that openness to giving and receiving and that flow of life. I feel like when we embrace that and we partake in that give and take, oh, life is just so much more fun. Get excited for what can be beyond what you already know. Instead of holding tight and trying to control every aspect of your life, embrace the resistance, embrace the challenge, because as I said in a recent video, which I will include up here, every challenge is a teacher. And when you can look at life through a lens of opportunity, a lens of growth. When you start believing that the universe works with you and is working for you and is supporting you in your growth and you are able to see those opportunities for challenge and growth more easily, that openness and curiosity to this human experience is what makes life a lot lighter. It's, it's no question that Earth is hard and being human is hard and it's a challenge. But when you're able to look at life and this human experience of being here on Earth as a gift, as an opportunity, and seeing every challenge as a teacher and an area to improve upon, I feel like you see gifts and treasures that most people can't see. Most people can't see the good. Most people can't see opportunities and challenges. And I feel like when you have that openness, that curiosity, and the mystery of it all, oh my gosh, it's just so much more fun. One of the things that I always do when I encounter challenge or hardship or struggle is I will observe it. I'll observe the situation. I'll observe how I'm feeling. I won't label it good or bad. It'll, it's, you know, preferable or unpreferable. And I will often tell myself, hmm, isn't that interesting? I wonder why that's happening. How can I find a, a lesson from this? How can I grow from this? Isn't that interesting? That simple changing of the perspective of instead of, oh, this sucks, you know, isn't that interesting? Isn't that bizarre? You know, just being curious, just that curiosity is just, it's, it's so, it makes us feel so much lighter inside when we are open and curious to life. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting us know what are some of the things that you do in your life to help you feel lighter and to slow your life down more. Our community of kindred spirits here on Simple Joys is just such a positive ray of sunshine and I just, I adore reading you know, where you guys are from in the world and how your lives look like and what are the things that you guys love to do in your life. I am sending you such a big hug and I hope you have a magical day, my friend, and I will see you next week here on Simple Joys. Bye.